Yeah, right here in the Valley, ASU, we're talking Arizona State University. They have developed an immersive meteorology experience actually using virtual reality video games, headsets and everything. It brings students inside the process of tracking and predicting these storms even right into the eye of the hurricane itself before it hits. So walk with me. We're joined by the people behind it. ASU meteorology instructor Rachel K, former TV Met, two time Emmy, Emmy winner. And we got an ASU alum and student himself, Marco Alexi Dion Pimitel, who actually helped create this video game. Welcome to the three o'clock show. Rachel, you're a PhD candidate. Dr. Crow, just give it to her already. I mean, how <laughs> did you come up with this, marrying this technology in with meteorology, which can be a scary subject for students? Yeah, you know it can. And as you know, seen, weather can be very exciting. It can be dramatic. It can be scary. Um, and it can be something that's very urgent in the moment. And for my Intro to Meteorology students at ASU Online, it can be kind of hard to feel that sense of urgency right. when you're reading a textbook or just watching an online lecture. And what are we looking at here? When you go into the headset, what can your students choose? Yeah, so we've got this three-act experience that takes students through the development of a so hurricane cool. approaching the coast of Florida. So this scene that you're seeing here uh, is in a newsroom. So they're in the role of a weather producer. And they're trying to convince the public, but also their grandma, who's a little reluctant to evacuate before uh -oh. Incoming call the, from the chief. Hits. Dion, yeah. do you take that call or do you not take that we call? always take that call. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. And Dion, you did a lot of the programming of this, correct? Yes, that's right. So how did you come up with all of these different concepts? Because the second tape, and I think Jake's going to roll the second tape, is inside a Hurricane Hunter aircraft. This is totally realistic. Yeah, so Rachel, as our project manager, comes to us with the concept and the initial idea. And us, the student team at Meteor Studio, which consists of like programmers like me, as well as artists, designers, composers, we work together to bring that into this virtual experience. And that's the, the actual hurricane it. tube on a Hurricane Hunter aircraft dropping the radio zones into the eye of the storm. Yep, that's right. How did you figure that out? Did you have pictures? Did you have video? Yeah, I believe all the references were provided by Rachel, and the actual props in the game were created by our artists on the team. That's really cool. Now, Rachel, you said the students can play a variety of different roles. How mm -hmm. important is that for them to get a real big, broad understanding of the impacts of meteorology on all of us? Yeah, it's a big part of not only seeing what careers might be out there, if it's something students are interested in themselves, but it also gives them a sense of the decision-making process that goes into something like, do I evacuate or not? Um, how do you communicate uncertainty? Those types of things that we deal with every right. day. Okay, Dion, so take us through the next tape. Jake's gonna roll it. This is what happens when you don't listen to the forecast. So we're inside a home, people watching TV, they're too late to evacuate? Yep, yep. So this is the point of view of someone who just didn't listen. That's their mistake. And it'll, it shows the perspective of them watching the news live, but actually, not heeding much of the instructions. So uh, this whole interactive cutscene shows the person looking around that room while watching the news live and also looking outside to see, quite frankly, the the worst chaos, case scenario, the chaos right? that's happening outside. Because they've got a helicopter hovering overhead getting ready to rescue them, correct? Yeah. yeah. That is wild. Rachel, I know you're going to get flooded with requests <laughs> for people to take your class. How do you grade this? You know, so we try to be very flexible with the grading because it's an interactive experience. So, so part of it is actually just a discussion to reflect on the experience and think about what did I learn from this? How was this different from traditional learning tools? But there is also a quiz. Nice. So um, the game kind of helps prepare students for the quiz. There's interactive questions throughout and then hopefully that helps them improve their grade in the course too. And Dion, as an ASU grad, I've got two teens that are gamers themselves. How Intensive is this for students to take something like this? I don't know, just ask the students that take Rachel's game. They all loved it. So <laughs> I think that's more than enough positive feedback for pretty much anyone. Well, I think you're going to be programming many more professors' classes in the near future. And Rachel, one real quick thing. Matt Hippie, get in here. Uh, you have a connection, Matt Hippie, get in here, uh, to Arizona's family. Matt Hippie, our executive producer of The Extra Point, 1035 every night, Monday through Friday. This, yeah. this person to you is? My fiance. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Matt, I don't think he was prepared to be on camera not, today. No, it was not. Matt, you you are definitely marrying up. You uh, are a very lucky man. That's the truth. Congratulations to all of you. Great job, Thank Rachel. You.
Uh, what's the class name at ASU? Intro to Meteorology. Intro to Meteorology. There you go. And you can find more information on ASU's meteorology program right now. We posted it on our website, azfamily.com. Click on the Scene on TV tab, or you can download our free Arizona Family News app. Congratulations, Rachel. Congratulations, Map. Way to go, Dion.